What's the smoke? I don't know. What's the smoke. Ah! Here we are. What do you want to get? I was gonna do the spicy chicken sandwich. I was thinking I usually get classic. Well, do you want to be adventurous and go spicy? It's not too spicy, right? It's not too spicy. No, it's just like Cajun. Oh, it's like Cajun. Oh, man, how about you? Hi, may we get two spicy chicken sandwiches, please? Anything else for you? I kind of want popcorn shrimp. I'm not hungry. Popcorn shrimp? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. but can we also add an or a quarter pound of popcorn shrimp? We just ordered a quarter pound of shrimp, and I look over here, and these people are working out. This is giving me a crisis of conscience. We get out and do some push-ups. Uh, no. Spicy chicken sandwich. Thank you. Where, where's that shrimp? The shrimp come in a... Yeah, give, give me a shrimp. How's it? Look at that hot. Have a good shrimp. Leave it in the back seat so it can perfume the car. Can I put it on the curb? <laughs> I'm just going to put it on the curb. I'm going to put the shrimp on the curb. It tastes a lot better than it smells. It really does. This that is, is a chicken sandwich. It's a good looking sandwich. I'm just going to go right in. Very fresh. They got... The thick pickles, the really soft and pillowy brioche bun. That spicy mayonnaise has got like the random dust in it that you can see. Yeah. There's flavor coming in there. And then the chicken, it's so well brined. This is like pretty close to a perfect chicken sandwich. How do you think we should make this fancy? We should probably get one of those breasts that they make in a petri dish. Because oh, yeah. I think those are really pricey right now. I don't think we can do lab grown meat yet. I don't know if we have the technology or the resources to do that. Oh. But I mean like we could pivot and just get another fancy bird. I'm thinking we do something like goose, something like duck. Penguin. Do you know penguins make milk? No. We've tried to get penguin milk for the show. <laughs> Turns out we cannot get penguin milk. Sorry, everybody, for that. I have an idea. Is it that you are going to invite yourself over to, to my house? That was part of the idea. Yeah, let's uh, not. Yeah, we no, we don't. That was a stupid idea. I didn't, let's not. I didn't think so. Um, so we're just going to go back to the kitchen and not... Do you want to, like, grab, like, some ice cream or... No, but I'll get the shrimp that I left on the curb. <laughs> Thank you. I actually, I do want that shrimp. Okay, I have successfully dismembered this turkey, and now I'm going to... Hello. I was wondering why you left. Sweet. I don't know what you want me to say. Do you? I, no, I don't. All right, so you're gonna be my fat guy for this. So we need to take all fat this goose guy. fat. Yeah, we broke down this goose. Now we need yeah, to render all this goose fat. Geese are prized for their fat. I gotta figure out a way to be comfortable in the kitchen. Do you want gloves? I have gloves. Like, I, yeah, I don't wanna touch this. Yeah, well, the gloves are there for it. And then something's hot over here. Dad, that's cooking. Do you want, I want me you to like me more than Rhett? I like whichever co-founder of the company is closer to me at the time. Well, that sounds honest. And <laughs> I do seem to recall a clip of me in stick figure form dead. Now the second myth revolving turkey juiciness. This was uh, this was a personal note, never mind. It, it seemed like it was, like it was no, me. It, I have nothing but respect for Rachel Maddow, but in this, she seemed to have suffered an accident. That's old and tired. Anyone could have. That joke. <laughs> that's, not, that's never old I'm to me. I'm kind of over it. I have this goose breast, we're gonna fry this. You see it's a little thicker at one end, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of bludgeon it with my hands. Is that a palm heel strike? That's a palm heel strike. Do you want a palm heel strike? Yeah. So you want to kind of set in your haunches and make sure you strike vertically down. And you yeah, get yeah, in the yeah. strong part of the heel, because this, this can break bones right there. You don't want that. I thought it was gonna bounce like a wrestling ring. <laughs> no, 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 this is solid. Faster, you, oh, it's gotta be quick and away. You gotta drive through, punch through the target link. Stop, he's had enough, he's had enough. So I'm gonna take a smoking gun and I'm gonna add some mesquite wood chips to it. And then I'm also gonna take, smell that? Just like really huff it, really like waft. It's tea. Is it's that tea. the tea? Yeah, so this is jasmine green tea. Yeah. I'm gonna sprinkle that right Things on there. It's pretty subtle. This is the most subtle thing that's gonna happen. I remember this, man. Yeah. We played with this before. We have. It's been a long time though, and we got a fancy dome since we played with it last, so that's exciting. I'm over here in fat zone. Yeah, I just yeah. get to watch you do the fire part. You're doing great. So, see, we got the smoke coming out. Ooh. Give that a smell. Oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, hookah Ooh, lounge. Hookah. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna shove this. So you're, we're then, trying to make the goose smell yeah, yeah. like tea. Hopefully. What's happening in there? We can't oh. see. The prestige. Ah, my knees, man. I'm gonna take our Cajun seasoning and I'm just gonna rub that all over this. I'm gonna give you the thumbs up while you're doing that. All right, now I'm gonna take a sous vide bag. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm, cover, I'm covered in duck bag. There should've been like a hands washing bead at some point. <laughs> smell that, this is, this is nice. That's an you, aroma. First of all, you're not saying it right. It's smell of that. Now you try. Smell of that. That's it. We're just gonna <laughs> shove some of that Lao Gan Ma in there. Yeah, this is the boil bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the bowl yeah. bag. So now we're just gonna take this, shove it into our vacuum sealer, and we're gonna sous vide this so it should break down all that intramuscular fat, and we're gonna turn it into a sandwich. <laughs> all right, so we got this nice and sealed. So that's ready to go in the sous vide machine. My hands have not been this slick since I delivered a baby goat. You delivered a baby goat without giving me that baby goat for food? 
Oh. Was it a pet goat or was it an eating goat? It was all a joke. Hmm. I want the goat. I've seen a cow being delivered. Do you mean like delivered from Grace? Delivered from the, <laughs> from the bottom of the mouth. My wow. brother used to tell me that I was birthed from the bottom, and I believed him until I was like 12 <laughs> years old. He said that, you know, this is normally where babies come from, but not you. You came from the bottom. I'm assuming that everything I do is gonna be hot swapped with something you've already no, done. No, 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 no. This is looking good though. I mean, you see how much liquid fat we got, right? Like this that is, is yeah, really that great. is just pleasant. I'm gonna kind of base that. So this is what we're gonna deep fry in. We got it. Keep shutting off. What's happening here? Well, you gotta, you gotta hold your mouth right. Cl cl closed. It's a saying. It's not that you're doing anything wrong. It's just that it just isn't working. I think it's kind of a way to say that you're not doing anything wrong. But just keep doing that, but have more confidence. How am I supposed to be confident if I'm not in a crop here, top? Keep, sh here, you just gotta hold your mouth right. There you go. All right, so this is gonna sous vide. We're gonna get that cooked, and then you're gonna continue to render that down. And now we can start cooking other things. What do you wanna make? Are we concerned that we're cooking in just a plastic trough? <laughs> yes. Like you said you wanted to pour milk. I'm, listen, I know what this is. If there's anything I'm good at in the kitchen, actually there's three things. One is pouring. Good. Two is mixing. And three is walking across it to get a drink out of the fridge. I would love all three of those happen right now because if I don't get a LaCroix in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna faint. I can mix with the best of them, man. My I smoothie think game is you know, all right. That is so. the sound of a blender. Yeah. So, I'm all right, the wrong we, button. We, you're off to a terrible start. You talked such a big game. You're like the guy that shows up to the pickup basketball game and he's got like the 19 sweatbands on. You're like, oh, this guy better be good. And then you see his first warm up shot and you're like, I'm avoiding that guy. So, I'm as you guy. can see, we have, I don't know, 20 quail egg yolks in here. At least 85. 46. Seven quails. So, first, we're two. We're doing the holiday, so let just cram. Yes, don't I, I'm don't cram my hand I'm near helping. a blade, though. I'm helping you. If you have to say I'm helping, you're not helping. You're gonna take the goose fat, and you're gonna... I'm gonna take this off. Who needs this? Uh, Yeah, that's probably fine. All right, so I need to slowly stream in that goose fat to this, and it's gotta be slow, because we're trying to create an emulsification. This is essentially a hollandaise. We're taking a hot, melted fat, and we're trying to emulsify that into the protein of these quail egg yolks. There you go, and I'm gonna gradually increase the speed, and then it might start spraying yolk literally everywhere. That seems to be like it is going to be the case. Uh, what do we do? Oh my god, what do we do? Wait, where's the lid? Where's yeah, the lid? Lid it! Wait. All right, slowly stream the fat. It's gotta go, it's gotta go. We're gonna be covered in egg yolk. It doesn't matter, it's gonna be so good! You said it! It's gonna be so good! Ah! ah! What? Ah! Just go! Oh, the fat's hot! Wait. Just go! I don't know what to tell you! you. Said it goes slow. I don't know what to tell it's you! It's going everywhere! It's working! You yeah, said yeah. go slow! I know! I, well, I was gonna go fast! Says go fast! Stop it! Stop the duck fat! Stop the fat! What? What? All the fat's in there! What's the smoke? I don't know! What's the smoke! Ah! Okay, I think it's done. So the sauce is a little bit broken. If you ever have a hollandaise break, all you gotta do is strain that off and then you can whisk in another egg yolk. But in the meantime, which one is this? Try this. I don't even know what this is. I don't know if it's hot. Is it hot? It's hot. Oh. It's so real this hot. Is, yeah, I forgot. So this is ricotto. So this is like the hot You habanero. didn't forget. Well, and I it's getting I hotter. I was caught up in the moment. So we're gonna take, this is our spicy sauce. This is, that's two strikes, man. That's, <laughs> the first one was all this like over intensity. <laughs> and then the second thing is the f feeding me the hot thing. Oh, this is really good though. Try this one. This is aji mira sauce. So Peru, right? Peru is the birthplace of chili peppers. Like, it's hotter than the first no, one. No, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good. I can feel my hair growing. Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good, man. That gives you the adrenaline you need. Try that one. I don't know what any of these, I haven't had any of these. I got these imported from Peru. They're like pretty new to me. <laughs> That one's really nice, that one's really nice. We're gonna add some of that in there. Yeah, 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 that's good. Like, it's the spicy. You didn't want the spicy chicken sandwich to begin with. But I'm making you, <laughs> whose head were you imagining in your hands? Ooh, this one looks real dark. Try this one, try this one, try this one. Link, you have to do it. This is this is what it means to be a chef. Take it. I feel like Harry Potter feeding Dumbledore. No, Harry, no more. But Mr. Dumbledore, you've got a drink. That's what Harry Potter sounds like in my head. So that is a dried chili, so that's gonna add a ton of flavor. Oh, I just splashed some of my eyes. I don't know what's happening anymore. I liked that a couple minutes ago. All right, so we're gonna. Uh, and like, I got something to cool it down. I keep taking sporks in my pocket. Take that. No, no, I don't want that. Yeah, it cools it down. It cools no, it down. I don't it's an want old chef that. trick. It's an old chef no, trick. I know it cools it. it down. What is it? It's liver. It's fancy, Link. Eat the fancy juice. Ew! You don't like that? I'm walking across the kitchen. I eat like a snack pack. There's nothing in here except. 
nasty stuff. They don't stock the fridge with drinks when we shoot, only when you shoot. We got warm diet Red Bulls or nothing. Yeah. This is not a functional kitchen. There's no glasses. No, no fire extinguishers. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this liver. I'm gonna add it to that. A little bit of that Cajun seasoning. Season up with a little bit of salt. Uh -oh. I'm trying my best and you're throwing me under the bus. <laughs> you're just sipping a bowl of milk like a small cat? <laughs> What's happening? I was trying to cook, man. We're gonna cook this. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. We did it. All right, so I think our spicy goose fat hollandaise is done. Just one more. This doesn't have to be for the video. Give this can be for me. Give me some milk. I need some milk, dude. Those are hot. What did you, which side did you drink out of? I'm not, that's not a good example, is it? You have another bowl? Here. This, well, this has goose fat in it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whatever. Goose fat and milk. That's actually really good. It tastes like popcorn. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a dough cutter to divide this in half. Your fingers? No, it's dough cutters. Oh, okay. Yeah, now you just make the final slice. See? And then right in half. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn these into logs. We're doing a braided challah, right? This is a challah dough. You're trying to divide this into three equal logs. My lips are still burning from that hot stuff you found. That's me. good, that raises your adrenaline that gets you ready for baking some bread. Gonna roll it out a little bit. We want these to be about 12 inches long. And then we're gonna braid these together. You know how to braid, right? I know how to braid. In my mind, you're like braiding Lily's hair every morning. No, no, no. She is uh, 16 years old. She's too cool she, for me to does she does help her she, style anything. I braid, uh, Christy's hair. Do you? When she's sleeping. I sneak over to her side oh. of the bed and I braid her hair. If she found out, she'd probably uh, be creeped out. So romantic, yeah, yeah, no. Because I also unbraid it. She never knows it happens. I'm like one of those like elves that make shoes, except yeah, for the yeah, shoes like, part, I'm braiding my wife's like hair. Like one of those, um, what are they called? Uh, the, like psychopaths. Oh, okay. see, look, I got Yeah, we're doing maybe it. I'll, maybe I'll push on that a we're little pushing. bit. This has to turn into a sandwich at some point. I'm not super confident right now. I've messed up a fancy chicken sandwich with you before. Waveform. Do you remember the fancy Chick-fil-A? We did that? I think this may be the first time we haven't actually made it better. We did that like years ago. You, you me, you, and Rhett. These are tall Oh, ones. is that the one where it was the picture and I was yes. down like this? And that's then, the meme. I did not know. <laughs> that you were involved in that. I, was, I just thought that was me being famous in a meme. I was staring at you and Rhett the same way you were staring at that sandwich. I was like three feet away just like, wow. But they cropped you out of the they meme, cropped, right? Yeah, they yeah, cropped yeah, me yeah. out of a lot of the memes. That's okay. What I'm gonna do here is braid this. Yeah. Because it's not hair, I don't know how to I start. actually don't know. Is this right? I'm yeah, just I'm gonna like, kind of twist it. I'm like, what is it? Maybe if I close here, my I eyes. I think you just gotta like put one over, oh, one yeah. under. So it's like. Thank you, you're, this, such, this you're one, such a good husband and this father. One, this one you goes raised over. our six children so well. And, and, then, and then this goes over that. By you as a partner. And then that goes over that. Only in marriage. Okay, I, I figured it out. Oh, that's, that looks really good. That looks really what good. What have I done? What did you do? You rolled it? I don't it? know, I was Christy in that moment. Yeah, just kind of coiled it in, and then at the end there's gonna be a little bit of overlap, and then you just kind of tuck it do, underneath. Do, do I want to make it layered? Maybe. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, and then just tuck it underneath. We're gonna take some scallions, we're gonna mix that. That, that, looks, whoa, whoa, whoa. that I, looks way better than mine. I actually feel proud. You should be, that's gonna be really, I think that's gonna be the beauty, that's the one that we go with. Now yeah. we're taking scallions, goose fat, and a little bit of that Cajun seasoning. Can't get away from the goose fat. Why would you want to get away from the goose fat? Yeah, you do it. Lather it up in goose fat. It's warm, it's warm hot oh, goose yeah. fat. It warms the nethers. This looks good, man. This looks really good. So we gotta let this proof for another 15 minutes. I'm just gonna wrap it in some plastic wrap and then we're gonna pop that in the I said fr fridge, but what's the fridge but hot? Uh, microwave. Jacuzzi, microwave. I call him sous chef Mike. Microwave, sous chef Mike. We actually have him on the payroll though in case anything goes what? wrong. Oh, sous so chef I was Mike's right. taking microwave? the Microwave? Okay. Wow. I was right. Oven. 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 <laughs> Action. I need the action. I need people to say action. They never say action, I need action. Action. <laughs> okay, so Link, you may have thought that the most dangerous part was streaming hot duck fat into a blender without a lid, but no, that's that's stupid, because what we're doing is worse now. So I need you to take this kataifi dough, right? If you like raw dough, eat that. Oh, really? This is essentially shredded phyllo dough. It's mainly used in Middle Eastern pastry called kunafe. Oh, yeah. That's meant to be eaten with uh, sweet cheese and honey. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap a whole goose breast that's in good. it and fry it, right? It's like the hair of an angel that left heaven to go through a Popeye's yeah. drive through The hair of your sleeping wife. I'm not gonna lie, I don't exactly know how this is gonna work, but m my thought was just to kind of roll it up. Roll it up. Yeah, just kind of like roll it up tightly and I'm gonna smash it between two strainers and then I'm gonna fry it and hope for the best. Yeah, Try and really oh get it tight. Goodness. Try and kind of like pack it. You know, like a sleeping person's head while you're braiding their hair. Oh, just stay asleep. Don't wake up and find that I'm doing this too. No, no, no. It's like we're gonna fry a wig or something. Uh-huh. We don't know how this is gonna go, so put All it right. on that. But the good news is, is it's just gonna, 
Okay, now we gotta flip it to the backhand. We point all our appliances to the camera, which is the opposite way that we do it in real life. And so now we're just gonna flip it backhand and then right in the oil. Oh yeah, what is happening? Ow. We're in like some strange funnel cake mm -hmm. territory. Yes. What, what? Now what is it you want me to do? I don't know, man, just calm me down because I'm scared, I'm getting splashed with oil. It's like a yeah, bird so we're nest. Just, we're gonna give it like a little trim. We're gonna give it a little like haircut. I can give you a trim as well. Dude, actually, I, I need it. Just get some of the side, get some of the burns. This, is this bothering you? Yeah. Well, you don't want to take off too much, but no, it's a little. Yeah, see, just a little bit like that. Thank you. Yeah, because it kind of gets like caught in the ears. A little shape there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll even it out later, but do you think that's burning? Huh? What? Well, you do what you got to do. Okay, here, just follow that's me. That's actually follow me. Just, follow me. just keep going. Just follow me. So this. Okay, come on. Look at that, though. I need to wash this now. What? Why? So we're just gonna flip that. So you see, we got a little nest. I just wanna take this and I wanna kind of give it a haircut. Do you want an Aniston? Do you wanna? Uh, yeah, do the Rachel. Oh, that's what it was called. Yeah, not the Aniston. Yeah, not the Aniston. No, that was the I mean, actress. So we don't. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. There you go. Oh yeah. yeah. You don't wanna forget no. that there is a meat ball in there. Clip a little bit right there. Yeah, it's, it is a little bit hot. Listen. Ow, ow. Oh God, no! We're okay. I think that's how it looked before, right? Before what? I don't know. This is strange, dude. I didn't have anything to do with the planning of this. Me neither. <laughs> I don't do anything. That's the sous chef Mike's fault, uh, man. He's going down. You know what? I bet when we put this inside of this beautiful bun, it'll just all come together. Let's do that. Action. There it is. All right, so this doesn't look like we did a lot, but I feel like we did so much. We didn't even do that. This I just made. What is it? These are watermelon radish pickles. Try one. Ooh, that's pickly. I love the Popeye's pickles. They're so big and thick. Big and big and thick. <laughs> we got a big and thick bun. Let's really slather that up. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go slather on the bottom oh, and the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. All right, now slap that down, and I'm gonna try and gently. It's like if cousin it were a chicken breast. Yes. Oh, go on, go on that side now. Ginger, ginger, ginger. Okay, and then. Oh, pickles, then, pickles, oh, pickles, 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 pickles. pickles. They put the pickles, a lot man. of pickles. They put a lot of pickles. Yeah, yeah. We we pickle that with um Korean chili flake called kochukaru. 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 Now we're in the whisper mode because it's yeah. getting real, y'all. Real, real in here. That I think that's good. You know, are you, you're gonna do that? No, okay, that's fine. I was kind of thinking I would do. Yeah, you can do that. Let's do it together. This is your show. It's not my show. Well, no, I mean it's like you're like you're like you run the show. Like you're like the Ringling Ed and Jimmy Ringling. Just give me a Ringling. Here we go. And Dingling. Let's compare it to the original. It's alive. Ours is like. Like they, All uh, over the place. I mean, it just looks like someone vomited ramen. I take a more artistic I, approach. I, to me, this is like the impressionist painters where your eyes were never supposed to focus on one part of the painting. There are constant brush strokes to make your eyes wander around to okay. not be able to really fixate. And that's what I think we've done. Look at all these beautiful brush strokes. This is like, you know, abstract impressionist art. And that's how I justify anything that I don't feel confident in. I say it's art. Let's recreate the Link stares at a sandwich meme. I mean, we're here. Here, you hold that and then I'm just gonna get down here like this and stare at it. I mean, they say don't, don't try to make a meme happen. They probably also say don't try to make a meme happen again, but screw it. Can we try and make a meme of Josh stares at Link staring at chicken sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's like, let's do, do that. Like but Josh stares at Link. You could even be faux braiding my hair. Is it working? I feel it. I feel it in my loins. All right, Link, so we got our finished, very fancy Popeye's chicken sandwich, but first we have to do a little palate refresher. Yes. We gotta remind ourselves what the Popeye sandwich tastes like. Yes. Take that. A little reminder here and, oh crap, what has mm. happened to my beard? Oh, yeah, yeah. You braid Christy's hair while she sleeps, I shave men's beards while they sleep. But I haven't been sleeping. That's as good as I remember it. It might be better than I remember it. Absence makes us a heart grow fonder. I'm afraid <laughs> of what we've afraid? done here. I mean, the sandwich is more afraid of you than you are, I bet. Remember this? I do remember that. Now I'm not afraid. <laughs> All right, so we got that cold smoked sous vide. I gave you the smaller part. So if you see well, the goose is breast is very dark, it's very steak-like and it shrunk up a lot. What? In the fryer. It's just right there. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. It's the majority I, breading. This is how we cut costs. So just to remind you, we got the goose fat, scallion challah, we got the cold smoked sous vide goose breast that's been wrapped in kataifi dough. We got the watermelon radish kochugaru pickles, and then we got the hollandaise with the liver pate and the six Peruvian chilies. Let's see how it tastes. Here we Going go. Going right in the center. 
with the cut you gave me, I ate the entire <laughs> piece of meat. There's literally no, I mean, except for that little thing, there's, there's no more meat in my <laughs> side of the sandwich. Leave a Yelp review. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Uneven meat distribution. One star. But you, <laughs> you did get one good bite. What are you tasting? Uh, that crunchy stuff is pretty overwhelming. The crunchy stuff is incredibly overwhelming. That's a bugaboo. We call that a bugaboo in the culinary industry. That's my bad. That goose is, uh, uh huh. it doesn't taste like chicken to yeah. me. Yeah, the thing about goose is it doesn't taste good, um, is what I'm finding out. Because it's kind of like a cheap steak. If someone told me that, like, hey, this is, this is like the $2.99 manager special steak, I would kind of believe him. I think we did all we could, and I think the fanciness is there. I love I'll the I'll tell pickles. you this. We did all we did. We did all we did. And this was it. We how, put so much work into it. But how yeah, much is this sandwich? It's a bar- Come out it's a bargain. Two hundred seven dollars and fifty one cents. Two hundred and seven dollars and fifty one cents. Put a price tag on a learning experience. You know, it was a fun process. Thanks for including me in it. Thank you. I'm sorry that I just don't like what we did at all. I feel a deep sense of shame about it, but if you think about it, we had a bonding experience for $207. That's about as much as it cost to go to Six Flags, and I didn't throw up here. Is this my fault? No, it, it was an issue of conception. It was my fault. I should have adjusted for how bad you are at certain things. You're, you're great at certain other things, so thank you for that. Well, it wasn't my idea to do it this way. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you know, like you broke the sauce a little bit. It was, I consider this a failure from, it was Nicole's fault. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes out every week. We got new episodes of our podcast, A Hot Dog is a Sandwich, every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram, at Mythical Kitchen, with pictures of your mythical dishes under hashtag dreams become food. We'll see you all next time. You want to wrap this up to go? Uh, wrap it up to go somewhere specific, yeah. You can cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen apron, available now at mythical.com.